Hey, what's going on, Planeteers? Out here enjoying a beautiful sunset. Um, out here in some wetlands. Uh, boy, I always find my heart in the wetlands, trust me. Um, I really hope that my, my Midwest friends are listening right now. Um, because the other day, I was talking to a student in Wichita, a high school senior, um, helping her with a project about ocean pollution. And she was asking how the ocean would affect um, the Midwest if it were to fail. Uh, and sometimes I, I, I don't realize that, that people may not know um, some, some of the obvious things that I think that everybody should know, like where water comes from. You know, that comes from the ocean, guys. Now, that's what's so important to Kansas about that in regards to the ocean uh, anywhere in the Midwest. When we think about Kansas, for example, we think about farming. When we think about farming, we think about rain. Now, that rain comes from the ocean, guys. The sun beats down on the water, and it evaporates. Kind of like how you boil water in a pot. Have you ever done that? And you see the water collecting at the top, and then it condensates and then drips back down. That's how rain works, basically. The sun beats down on that ocean, and it evaporates, turns into clouds rolls up in on land, rains. Now, over hundreds of millions of years of this process, that rain falling on the, the new mountains that were forming, going back into the sea, that's where the salt comes from, guys. That's why we have fresh water on land and we have salt water in the ocean. People don't even ask where the salt comes from these days. Now, that salt, it comes from the hundreds of millions of years of that process. So think about it, guys. How would the ocean affect the Midwest? The same as the Midwest affects the ocean. All that fertilizer that we use on our crops, if it's not a safe fertilizer, guys, it ends up in the creek, right? And the creek leads to the stream. The stream leads to the river. And that river leads to the Mississippi River, most likely. About a third of the U.S. And where does that river end up? Dumps right in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, you know, so sometimes I remind Florida that our pollution problem isn't just our problem. Um, it's the planet's problem. We all need to get on board, get together, unite. Um, I've always been saying, you know, we need to bring the donkeys and the elephants together. We need to bring the hippies and the cowboys together. Uh, it's that same common principle. We have to preserve what we love, guys. We have to preserve what we love. This is what it's all about. Protecting what's left, what we haven't destroyed. You know, this is beautiful stuff out here, guys. And we're going to be missing out because this is going to be gone too. So we're all connected. Every single one of us, we're connected. Even if you've never seen the ocean, like that girl in Wichita. She affects the ocean every day. And we affect her every day. I want that rain to fall on those crops that we need. So we need to start growing those crops right again. You know, we need to get rid of the GMOs. We need to get rid of mosaics, phosphate fertilizer. We need to get back to our great grandparents' way of farming. I truly believe that. There's sustainable ways to do things, guys. Miss you. Love you, Planeteers. Keep those chins up, guys.